Welcome. Today's lesson is how concentration impacts conductivity. We're going to be using a wireless sensor to track and record of all of our data uh, from a sports drink. The very first thing we want to uh, look at is how concentration is going to actually impact the conductivity. The second part is we're going to learn how to make serial dilutions. And the third thing is how we can calculate molarity with this experiment and also how to use a line fit graph to be able to predict our accuracy in our data collection. If you watch the video to help you set up this lab, it's kind of incomplete. So I want, what I want to do today is I want to put together all three things. Even though it does a great job of showing us how to collect data, it really doesn't show us how to set up the serial dilutions. It doesn't uh, show us how to actually set up the software or actually conduct the analysis. So what I want to do is I want to make this video, video to try to put that all together. The first thing in setting up the software, we're going to first of all just click on where it says sensor data. Now I've already paired um, the, uh, the, the sensor on it. So what you want to do on this uh, end of the, of the uh, setup is just look on your left hand uh, side once you have clicked that middle button and it says it definitely is paired. And then what you want to do is you want to get a table and you want to get a graph. You're going to click on that middle uh, square because that's what we want, the table and the graph. But you'll notice this um, graph already has, with well, the graph right here on the, on the y-axis, it already has its labeled. It just picked it up and put it over when we paired it. Same with this table, but it only did one side. This other side is time. Well, we're going to click on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the user uh, enter um, button. Now make sure you know where that is, the upper right hand corner. We're going to click it once. And notice the create data set appears on that. That's what we want to press. When we press that, it's going to take us back to um, uh, the, the, um, the table. And when it does that, it's going to be asking us to fill in a few things. First of all, the very first uh, thing it's going to ask us for is the name of it. And we're going to, co uh, we're going to go ahead and say concentration. And then we're going to say a unit name. Now this time we just put a symbol on it the percentage uh, symbol. There we go. And then we're going to press OK. Now we're still not done. We still got a couple things left to do. Um, we need to write right in here. So what you're going to do is you click on that little uh, kind of ghost image of a pencil. And then you're going to put 100 for 100%. And then we're going to go to 50 and, and put 50%. And then 25 for 25%, and the last reading will be taken is 12.5%. So for every uh, concentration it moves down, it's going to be taking on about 50% less. Really what we want to uh, track is how much the concentration impacts the conductivity. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on, on this lower left-hand corner uh, where it says periodic, at this point, it will give us an option between periodic and manual. You're going to click on manual. And when you do that, you press OK. Now we're pretty much set up. The next part of this video is we're going to be looking at the serial dilutions. And then lastly, uh, we're going to also be looking at the analysis. Before we actually get started on the lab, we have to uh, serial dilute each one of these uh, containers. One with 100% a solution. 50% uh, solution, 25% solution, and then lastly 12.5% solution. To do this, we're going to be using a Gatorade. Um, we're going to be putting 100 um, uh, cc's or ml's into the 100% container. We're going to be using uh, graduated cylinders to, to do that. To start with, I'm going to go ahead and put 100 ml's of Gatorade in the container. And we're going to go ahead and just pour that into our um, a vial or a flask, or in this case, just a cup. 100 ml will go into 100% solution. Make sure we get all of that out of there. And then what we're going to be doing um, is we're going to be taking a 50% of each of, of those. We're going to first of all put that water in each one of those cups at 50 uh, ml. So 
to start off with that, I'm going to put 50 mLs uh, right in there. And then I'm going to just check to make sure that it's right up to the level that it needs to be. And once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to set it off to the side. And we're going to then uh, take another 50 mLs and put, put in the 25% cup. And keep on checking it to make sure it's accurate. And then lastly, in the 12.5% cup, we're going to be putting 50 mLs as well. And again, check it again to make sure it is accurate. Set that aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be taking 50 mLs of the 100% solution and put that in the 50% cup. And again, using the graduated cylinder, carefully measure it out so you get exactly 50 mLs. Check in that is, is kind of critical for that. So we're just going to go ahead and pour that 50 mLs into the already 50 mLs container um, and that will make a, a serial dilution of 50 percent. Uh, I'm going to give it a little shake there to make sure we get uh, um, a good dilution. And now we're going to take 50 percent or 50 mLs of the 50 percent solution and I'm going to put it in the graduated cylinder. Once I've done that, make sure that again it is accurate. That's why you set it on the table and then we'll just pour it straight into the 25 percent making it 25% solution of Gatorade or of salt. And then once we have that done, we're going to take 50 mLs of that and then pour that in the 12.5% cup. So again, carefully measuring 50 mLs. As we do that, we're going to go ahead and give it uh, a little swish and then we're going to put it in the 12.5% uh, cup, which now has 12.5% solution of salt. Um, we should have 50, or excuse me, 100, 50, 25, and 12.5 percent. Now we're going to look at our serial dilutions. You can see that they're 100 percent, 50 percent, 25 percent, and 12.5 percent. All of those, starting from 100 down, is basically 50 percent of the salt concentration uh, that we have in the sports drink. First, before we start our first run we want to make sure that, that that's nice and clean by just squirting that down in the 100% concentration and now we're going to turn, turn back to our data logger when we have that all lined up then we're going to hit start it's right here on the bottom see that right there I'm going to hit start and now what it's doing it's it's recording its first um, run actually this this has been this particular app has been used uh, several times so that's why we're on run six. So it's 1764, we're gonna let that run just a little bit longer, see if indeed it starts to settle down. Now that our first set of data uh, with a 100% concentration is settled down, we're now gonna move it to the next one, to the next like 50%. So we're gonna click on this green check mark, and when it moves to the next Now what we're going to do next is we're going to move our probe. And again, we have to make sure it's clean. And then we put it in the 50%. Now when we go back over here, we should see, and we do, um, a different difference in it because it dropped 50% of the, its concentration. Now it's at 997. And we're going to let that run for a little bit. Now that that's when it has pretty much settled down, we're going to click on that 1004 Desi Siemens. Click on this green check mark. Now it's going to go to its next percentage, which is 25%. We again clean the probe. We put it in 25%. Salt solution from the sports drink. We're going to go back over here and we've seen it drop again. And it looks like, looking at that line, it looks like it's a pretty consistent drop from point A to point B. And on this one, it's around six, a little over 600. This ha happens to be 605.3 deci Siemens. Now, on this one, we're going to press the check mark again as soon as it begins to settle. It looks like it's selling right around 106. So we're going to press the check mark. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and move the probe. But again, we're going to clean it. And we're gonna move it to 12.5%. Now that it's hovering right around 384, I'm gonna go ahead and click it one last time. And this is where I'll stop. So this is our lab on how concentration affects conductivity.